Before we get into this week's video, I just really quickly wanted to honor the death of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and so many more that we may never get to know or honor. I am hosting a donation-based Seen and Safe virtual healing circle, unpacking anti-blackness, colorism, the traumatic effects of lived experiences internalizing these beliefs, and just how to become more of an effective ally. Um, all of the donations will be going to organizations and foundations that are helping being hurting communities right now and uh, the highest donor will get 20 minutes alone time with me virtually and I am also happy 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 to uh, personally match all of the donations this video was supposed to go up last week but because of the political and civil unrest um, I asked for a delay in posting to the sponsor and things still seem quite sensitive but I figure a video that was filmed last month this was filmed last month um, should go up sooner rather than later in order for me to jump into present day topics and um, I hope that this video can at least serve as a distraction from what's going on right now because as healers, as activists, as uh, anti-racist allies, uh, we need to re rest and rejuvenate because the revolution is beginning, our work just begins today. So um, also a really big thank you supporting me and my channel and all of the causes I'm super passionate about. So thank you so much and with that let's get into a vlog of when life was very different last month. Very different. It doesn't look very appetizing right now, but this is my breakfast. I had seaweed and then rice. This is right rice. It's made from, I think, chickpeas. I got it from Whole Foods, but it was pretty good. I honestly think it would be really good as a risotto just because it's like wetter and, or maybe I just didn't drain enough. And this is tendang jjigae, which is like miso bean paste stew that I made. And it has tofu, carrots, squash, onions, mushrooms, um, and I put a little bit of shrimp bees in there. This is my very Korean breakfast, which I often eat, I feel like, especially during the pandemic. Anyways. Palm Springs vibe. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sugar, Thai chili, I don't know why I said it like that. Red lettuce, three potatoes, ichiban, reminds me of my childhood, Korean potato chips, eggs, Korean pancake mix, bean sprouts, hedopa, sashimi bowl, BCD tofu kit, dokkoki, or hot spicy rice cake, vermicelli noodle, green onion, broccoli, lime, cucumber, zucchini, purple rice, last but not least, two treats for me. Jasmine green tea and a spam masubi. Time to put everything away. I got these reusable net mesh bags that can be used not only just for produce for, but for all other things. It's from Purify You. I bought these myself. Don't drive me away before you have a chance to act. I'm just looking at my 
bills and my credit card statement just to make sure I'm not overdue on anything. Everything is pretty much automated, so I don't have much to worry about, but I do this probably once every two weeks just to make sure that no overdue bill kind of creeps up on me. But uh, today's video, I do actually have a sponsor, so I do want to say thank you to Empower for partnering with me on this video, and thank you to you, the viewer. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and for allowing me to do this for a living. Um, without you, I wouldn't be able to get these amazing opportunities and partnerships. So um, thank you so much. Anyways, so I do want to shout out Empower. And I actually partnered with them last or two months ago on um, tools and resources that will change your life. I highly recommend watching that. I'm going to leave it up in the cards above. Power is not just a budgeting app. That's just one of the many features. There's so many features I could go on about, but I genuinely have, I told Diego to get it because I really think it's awesome. But basically the number one thing that I like about Empower is automated savings. Uh, when I was first out of college, I was living paycheck to paycheck. And the hardest thing for me was really putting away my money every single week or every single month. And with Empower, Power, you can do that it's like autopilot it will you have to put in a good majority of your accounts for it to really um thoroughly assess when you have the money so for example if you want to save i don't know five thousand dollars for an emergency fund in the future it will take a year to do that if you take a hundred dollars each week and save it automatically from all of your you know accounts and stuff like your income and stuff power's algorithm will basically assess when is good for them to take that money and it might do that in four small little increments throughout the week or it might even choose to skip that week if you cannot afford it that week um, but regardless it is automatically saving for you it's like on autopilot where you don't have to put in any effort where you don't have to think about it and that's super important for me so I have a targeted week of um, targeted savings of $40 a week since I started the app and the best thing about it is that you just set it and forget it and you don't ever have to lift a finger and then also you you can withdraw money at any time you can pause the feature at any time obviously budgeting is great so you can have customizable trackers and I have one for dining and drinks shopping bills and utilities I've set a budget for every one of them and I like how it notifies you if you're over it if you're like doing less than that I've been meaning to check out a financial advisor but there's something like intimidating about it and also we're going through a pandemic so I've been actually using one of their features called human coach and basically you can text in you don't have to set up a appointment or a call in um, it's just all through text and you actually talk to a real life like advisor something I asked about is owning a home because I have been saving and I hope to do that within the next couple of years and they sent me actually a lot of great links it's hard to like Google everything and always try to find everything on the internet but this is all just in the palm of your hand if you want to check out empower I have a link down below it's free for the first 30 days and then six dollars a month after and you can get five dollars when you download it and reach one of your first targeted goals whether or not you actually you know download it or check it out I guess my goal is just to bring awareness to these financial resources because it would have been really helpful for me when I was younger to just even know about them um, but yes I have been using empower and I've been saving let's see how much I saved almost five hundred dollars and I didn't even know like it hasn't really affected anything I didn't even know it was in there so and you can take it out anytime you want so <laughs> all right I'm gonna go work now and clean up all this hair that just came out <laughs> the TikTok right now and the hardest thing is tech editing the text to the same song over and over because it's actually really difficult to get the timing right sometimes these TikToks take me an hour to just get synced right 
It's finished. Hopefully this doesn't get copyrighted. Well, I don't really make money off my videos anyways. Hold on, let me turn on the brightness. So that doesn't really matter. So I posted my self-loathing video today and the outpour of messages has been making me cry all day. My cousin just sent me a very nice voice memo and I feel so sad but in a good way. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just, I, I cry like every day, especially during this pandemic because I allow myself and give myself permission to cry every day because I'm like, if you can't cry during a pandemic, when can you cry? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, but seriously, I have a huge headache. Do you get that from being on your phone too long? Yes. Like, okay. I'll send you journal prompts. What what area do you want to work on? <laughs> Honestly, okay. Well, first of all, let me tell you what's on my mind too. Okay. Um, I mean, all the time. We love a self-aware queen. And, like, and I told him I was like, I'm not at capacity to like hold space. Anyway. Well, I could tell. What's even the point? Wave! I'm censoring your face. Hmm? Why are you so cute? You don't even know either. No, I don't know either. It should be illegal. Okay. Good morning. I slept really late. I slept really late. I've been sleeping at like 9 during quarantine because there's literally nothing to do. There's no reason to stay awake and I'm a morning person. Yeah. So I've been sleeping at 9 and waking up at 7 like almost every day and I feel so well rested. But almost too well rested. If you know me, like I don't sleep a lot. I have a lot of like crazy thoughts and like that's why meditating really helps me um, and working out. But I think I've been oversleeping. I've been up since 7. It's 9 o'clock now. I postmated a kale acai bowl. This is from one of my favorite places too. It's called Backyard Bowls in LA. There's one in downtown. I ordered Korean. Fried chicken. And I want to eat fries with it, so I'm going to make some air fries. I love Korean fried chicken. I love fried chicken. I think fried chicken is probably my biggest spice. And extra hot, hot Cheetos. Quarantine diet. I normally don't use foil when I cook in the air fryer, but I find that all the olive oil for the fries gets all the way to the bottom. So it's better to catch it all in like a, a foil. Olive oil. I love Korean packaging because there's air holes so that the fried chicken doesn't get soggy. It's bomb. No cheese. Same as yesterday, huh? Yeah. My fries. And so I'm going to try and declutter all of this because it's making me unhappy. This is all of the makeup I own in this vanity and Diego keeps trying to tell me that it's not that much because of what I do but see, I don't even use primer and I have like three primers
o'clock and I'm trying to eat this for breakfast right now. Oh my god. I love to hear you when you complain. About your best friend now, she's so late. I'm also eating the leftover potato chips. It's like a Korean Poke Bowl. So good. Saving this for later. It's one o'clock right now. I put on some sunscreen, put on my workout clothes, and we're gonna go to the beach now. It's one of the most healing, restorative places I can be, and also uh, downtown is super freaking loud because of all the construction outside my window. Are you ready? Come here. Will you be here and give me a kiss, hey? Kiss, kiss. Oh. You have a body, and that the body is what many people identify with as So we just showered and I gave Comey a bath. I put on a little bit of makeup and got into an outfit because even though it's like 4.30, I'm gonna go cook, which is like a really meditative thing for me because it's like so present. It requires you to be so present. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay, I'm just watching this French Vietnamese lady do it. I can link it down below. I shred the carrots. I mince the onions. I love Vietnamese food so much. I actually went to Vietnam, I think in 2018, just so I could eat. Not actually, but because I actually wanted to go there for a really long time. I went with my high school best friend, Sharon. I have a vlog on it if you want to see it, but we ate so much good street food. Oh my god, one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes is, I'm gonna butcher it so I feel bad, but it's called Chege Tang Long. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. <laughs> Over here I'm doing the Korean vermicelli noodles for five minutes and then we're letting this vibe on the side. This is shrimp that's deveined and cut already or cooked, so I'm just letting it defrost. Gotta watch these. Let that vibe on the side. It's like getting annoying. And I add some black pepper, fish sauce, 
one teaspoon of salt, wrong towel on the table, the egg, five tablespoons of fish sauce. Ooh. Oh, I hope these taste okay. I want to add garlic, but I feel like they don't call for garlic. They look pretty good. I took two out because these popped in the oil and the oil was freaking out. Smells pretty good. Mmm! Oh my god! so good! This is the last batch and then I have some lettuce vibing on the side. I saw on TikTok if they're like a little wilted, which is weird because I just bought it yesterday. You put them in a... Um, bowl of cool water for 30 minutes and then it'll become like revived again and then here's the ones that I did I burned that one but I'm still gonna eat it I'm just gonna cut off the top and then here's the lettuce now I put the rest in here because I ran out of rice paper so I'm just gonna go to the grocery store grocery market tomorrow and get more fish sauce and I'm out I can't believe I'm out of this whole thing and then um, more rice paper so I can make these and then freeze them and then here's my little bow, so let's make some fish sauce. Okay, now we're gonna make my favorite part, which is the fish sauce. I've never made fish sauce before. One cup of warm water, a fourth cup of fish sauce. It's like almost the perfect amount. Oh my god. I saved just the right amount for the recipe. I just Googled the recipe on YouTube. Three tablespoons of minced garlic. Five tablespoons of sugar. I had to buy sugar for this recipe. One. juice of a lime and then and a Thai chili pepper I washed this already these are really spicy two hours later okay I'm so tired also the water bath totally worked my Lettuce is so bouncy and full of life again. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I deserve this. This was too long. I feel like it would have taken a shorter amount of time um, if it wasn't the first time and if I didn't choose to vlog this. my blue light glasses on because I was editing in the dark um, I'm actually quite stressed out this week just because I have three sponsored videos due this week but two of which you will not be seeing till much much later I'm really grateful to have a lot of work during this time especially because I know that not many people have the privilege or the blessing to do so. Yeah, I think that's the nature of this job. It's kind of just like feast or famine, meaning like there are some months when you're on your own and 
um, you're just doing your own thing and then there are other months where you're still doing your own thing and <laughs> you're still doing your own schedule but on top of that you have to like submit a lot of behind the scenes stuff for review and for content that will come out most likely a week or more later depending on the brand but um, yeah I'm very grateful and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I don't think I did much in this vlog. I mean, it's really hard to make staying at home seem interesting. But at the same time, watching people stay at home is my favorite type of vlog. More so than travel or uh, partying or going out. Like, I love seeing what people do at home. Like, what are you eating? What are you watching? What are you reading? What are you drinking? I'm drinking jasmine green tea right now. Homie is barking at the trash can right now. Uh, but yes, I love you. Thank you so much for watching and bye. <laughs> Check out her power also. <laughs>